Hey, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. So this video has been in the making since literally middle of January. It is now March and I'm finally getting it to you guys, but I hope it's worth the wait. I kept adding stuff to it. I want to thank Govy. They hooked it up for a little surprise at the end of this video. So everything kept adding up and then I kept wanting to do more and more things and then I decided to actually fully bling out my car stuff that isn't removable. <laughs> this video is going to be blinging out my car. I'm making custom car seat covers. I'm allergic to wool. I had to find an option that was not wool, cruelty free obviously because we love the animals and something that fit my car and that didn't have an ugly back. So that's going to be in this video. I ended up making seat belt covers. I ended up putting the LED lights in my car. I ended up blinging out the inside, the outside. If you want an extra car makeover, blinged out edition, obviously, watch the rest of the video. So let's get to it. Blinging and making my car fabulous. Loving my Fiat now, even more than I already did. I'm now starting on the portion of doing my license plate holders. It has this little clip thing that holds on to the license plate so it doesn't flop around and be annoying. I've had license plate holders like that before and those are really annoying. I did a custom license plate about two years ago. I did it with some crystals and some of these like rhinestones that have the metal backing to them. They have gone through the car wash. They have been on my car, sometimes obviously in the sun, and a lot of the crystals that didn't have the metal on it turned yellow. Also, I didn't get Swarovski crystals or like the glass ones, and when I used the E6000, those plastic um, rhinestones like melted and bubbled. I will insert that above. Looks really awful. So I'm making new ones and they will be nice clear crystals and blingy. So to get started, these come with like a bunch of little beads. So I have to like separate those and just get off the big gems that I want. Now that I got all these separated, I have the smaller size, the bigger size, and then some random shapes. I am going to try to fit them all on here. I don't know if I want it like a uniform pattern or all random. I'm just gonna play around with it and see, and then I will glue it all down with my E6000. It should be really easy. So now to bling out the rest of my car, I'm gonna use a bunch of crystals. I got some of the stuff on Amazon and then this I got from the craft store. This is like the scrapbooking bling. They stay on very good, but if you try to remove them, they're not gonna ruin your paint or whatever you have on your car. So don't worry about that.
Okay, so we are in my car. We are now starting to do the fun part of the furry seat covers. I'm so excited about this because I got the coolest, softest fur ever. Got my measuring tape. And then I have this really, really shaggy black fur. I got one yard of each and I'm just going to now measure. And I want this smaller pile for the inside of the seat cover, the part where you sit on. And this one is probably about perfect because it leaves me the allowance on each side. This one's gonna be definitely enough to cover the whole entire seat. And then I'll have a bunch left over to make another fun project. So just like the inspiration picture, I'm gonna put this all around the edges and make it a luxurious car seat cover. So as you saw, there is that ugly, ugly back part of it. So I wanted to make mine cute, obviously, because if there's anyone in the back seat besides my dog that's gonna judge me, um, I want a cute one. So I got this cute little frilly stretch, whatever this is, stretch elastic. And that is literally just gonna go a couple strips in the back. So it's gonna make like a slip cover and it'll keep it nice and tight. And then I'm also gonna run a strip underneath and through see my my car seat has a little hole so I'm gonna be able to pull it through so I'm gonna attach it to the middle bottom of that slip cover I'm making so it'll pull it tight and it'll pull it underneath and then I'm gonna um, attach it to over here we are learning as we go and making it and finagling it until we get it cute let's go attempt to cut this and sew it inside and this fur is already in my nose. That's why I'm wearing black today because I cannot deal with all the fur that's gonna be everywhere. So I am folding the low pile fur in half. I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna cut a straight line on that fold. Kind of just grabbing all this extra just so it doesn't go everywhere. Well, it's gonna go everywhere, but not as much. <coughs> yeah, it's everywhere. So now that it's cut, I'm gonna still leave it together. I'm gonna cut it 53 inches. I measured how long I wanted it for my car seat. Obviously this is gonna be different measurements for everyone, so you have to measure your own car seat. I have a little Fiat and not everyone is gonna have the same size seats as me but if you have a Fiat, this might work for you. I would say that was pretty even. <laughs> We're now on to the fluffy one. So measuring it, it's pretty much exactly what I was thinking and wanting to do. So to make it easy on myself, I'm just gonna cut it in half and then fold it and cut it in half again. It'll be four long strips and that will be the border of my car seat cover. Kitty. Careful. And I'm not having to really draw the line because this pretty much sticks together, not like Velcro or anything, but it doesn't budge. So when I'm holding it and pulling tight and cutting it, it's staying and not slipping around. So I'm not having to get crazy with the measuring. I am pinning these together and I'm taking fur and folding it in as best as I can. When you are sewing, the fur gets stuck in the seam, so take a comb, brush it out, and the seam will be flawless. I'm trying to achieve a rounded top, so I'm putting those two ends together and sewing those first, and then brushing that out. Yes! Invisible seam! And then I sewed those two pieces together in a straight line to hold it together. And I proceeded to sew a round corner starting from the middle top of the project. See how it is? Nice and round. And then I decided I don't need all that bulk in there, so I cut off the excess. Yay, mission accomplished. Now I'm sewing on what's going to hold it down and strap it underneath and it's literally directly in the middle of the fabric. But see, you can't see the seam and it's going to be tucked in the seat so you can't see it anyway. And then sewed on the two back straps.
So the fuzzy covers are all done now and we're gonna put them on. I made holes in the top of this, so this can go in. I also have these fun things. So excited about these. Because I'm so obsessed with bling. I found these little rings on Amazon and they go on the headrest. I'm gonna slip them on there. And then this belt is now gonna go through the back. Sorry, this lighting is awful. So I have a couple scraps left from making the seat covers and I'm going to Make a new seatbelt cover. This is my really gross, um, not even black anymore, doesn't even Velcro anymore, uh, seatbelt cover. So I'm gonna make a new one of these, and I got some Velcro, and I'm gonna attempt to just kind of follow that template and make my own out of the scraps. So here we go. And I only had one, so I'm gonna make two of them. One for each side now, if I ever have any passengers in my car. I know, don't come for me. I have to use white thread because I ran out of black and it is midnight right now. So, <laughs> Joanne's Fabrics is not open at midnight, which I wish they were, but definitely not going to Walmart right now, even though that's open. Oh my God, you guys, we just had a crazy earthquake right now in LA, like, <laughs> as I'm filming this. Um, that was crazy. My whole entire apartment was shaking. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Back to sewing. Hopefully I don't chop my finger off if that happens again. Oh my goodness. I'm just sewing on the Velcro. Why does it look so professional? I'm doing a good job. <laughs> now I'm sewing the two pieces together. So now I just have to do the Velcro on this side. So now I'm finished. Does the Velcro and it's gonna go around the seatbelt like that. So way better than this old one. That one can go in the trash. So excited, this Govy car kit comes with everything you need. You can either use the remote control or you can use the app. It comes with four wired strips. Plug it in, install it, and you're ready to go. Sticking them underneath the dash was super easy. And then I kind of hid the cord. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I think I counted uh, like five different nail sets, nail colors throughout the video. That's how long this video was in process. There's tons more to come. I have so many videos. In between filming this video, I filmed a couple other videos, so those will be up shortly after this one is up. I swear this time <laughs> I'm getting my life together. <laughs> It's coming. They're all coming. I'm trying to branch out and do also other more fun things rather than just blinging out my car, but I had this one in the process. So actually, speaking of blinging out, I started my own blinging company because <sighs> kind of annoyed I ordered some stuff from a certain really popular bling bleh, uh, uh, website 
and I was so disappointed with the stuff they shipped me. So I'm going to do it myself. You guys keep asking like, hey, I know you did the videos, but like, can you do stuff for me? Can I buy stuff from you? Like my paintings and stuff. I've sold some of those. Like I will do custom stuff now. I have an Etsy. That is up. I will link it below. I have now crystalled by crystal. Crystalled by crystal on Instagram. Yay. Getting life together, like I said. Um, starting that. So if you want me to bling out something, you just don't feel like you can do it yourself. I will be happy to bling stuff out for you. I'm very excited about it. I am and expanding upon my YouTube stuff. I love it. I love how life is going right now. Kitty cannot stay out of any video. Kids! Ah. Okay, so hope you like the video. Give this video a thumbs up. Helps my algorithm. Send it to a friend. Share it. So love you to pieces if you subscribe. Leave me some comments and I will see you on my next video. And they are coming way more frequently. I promise life is getting real. I'm doing it. I'm not procrastinating anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye.